Hello everybody and welcome. This is Dinner Fried Dinner Steak here and welcome to Let's Play Don't Starve. Today guys we'll kick it off with playing as Maxwell in Reign of Giants Land. All the mods that we have here today will be posted in the link and description below, but let's just get right into this. Uh, Wilson. <laughs> Wilson here starts off the game with 850 health, 150 HP, hunger, my bad, and he starts off with 200 sanity. You'll see what that is in a little bit. Um, his ability in this game is to grow a beard. I'll shut up here and just let the game basically play itself out, but basically this is a Don't Starve channel, as you've already seen in my channel video, and I hope you all enjoy this as much as I will. I'm looking for 100% game completion in both Reign of Giants and Shipwrecked for all characters. So, hopefully we can enjoy the game together as I die a lot and progressively get worse at this game. This is a standard world size as seen by the quick setup. So there's no extra gold, extra ore, no nothing in this game. And this will basically just show you guys how to play the game and just give content to a community that needs content. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> oh, man. And welcome to Don't Starve. So guys, uh, basically the game crashed there, so five minutes later, here we are today playing Don't Starve, Season 1, Episode 1 with Wilson. And basically, I'm going to go over some basic mechanics. Tab is opening up the map, uh, running down WASD, pretty simple as that. When he says you should better find some shelter, or, oh my god, I totally forgot what he said, but basically, the name Don't Starve is... Pretty uh, misleading. Don't starve. Don't die. Don't go crazy. Uh, don't starve base, uh, works off of three basic mechanics. Um, hunger, health, and sanity. Uh, the mod, the one of the many mods that I have here, give me these uh, number numerical values. Um, in basic game, these aren't here, nor is this clock. Uh, but I just have those to get more intricate in the game. Uh, I'll post everything down below in the description. But yeah, this is Don't Starve. And I don't think we have any flint right now, which is going to give us an issue. Whew. So, here we are. Gathering up food, sticks. I don't even have for a torch. I need grass. Ah, uh, this is a road. Uh huh. It's, it's a road. It's, anyway, I, I suck at community content, but... Nevertheless, this is just going to be me completing the game's completion of the game will be, well, you'll see eventually. But right now, we're just getting grass. Uh, we now have enough to make a torch, but I'm not going to go for a torch just yet. I mean, if we can pick up some flint, we can get some wood, and maybe, just maybe. Oh, there's beefalo. Well, what's a beefalo, you might ask? It's these little things. And I'm picking up their poop. I should fill my pockets. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. A little thing about beefalo. Uh, come springtime, which there are seasons in this game, they go into a very aggressive form of heat. Uh, I'm going to pick up this poop uh, just in case we don't ever see these guys again. Why would that happen, you might ask? Well, I personally have no clue. Well, just in case we find rocks and stone, which doesn't seem like we're going to be finding today. Uh, because of this, I'm going to devote some of my time to pick up food. And try to get some flowers going here. Because um, one of the biggest issues with this game is uh, sanity. Now, let me just give you a little quick rundown. Uh, sanity hits zero. Well, progressively, as it goes down, you start seeing things. And when it hits zero, those things that you see will attack you. And I'll demonstrate insanity. 
See this arrow as my sanity is going down. Uh, it went from 199 and it lowered. Those were evil flowers. And this is a part. This is a part to a machine. I'm going to turn down my volume just a little bit because the game itself is surprisingly loud. But yeah, episodes uh, in this series will consist of 20 minutes apiece. And we'll just pick off right where we left off from the last time. Let's get a garland going here some sanity going here because now I'm back at 200. You also gain sanity from uh, picking flowers. I'm kind of excited. Uh, I would have started posting earlier. However, I was suffering some some uh, feedback loop interferences, but I got that all fixed. Don't worry, guys and gals and Apache attack helicopters. Stepping on the beach. Doop, doop. You guys into memes? Because I am. Alright, we're going to pick more flowers. Um, I think our chances of finding rocks at this point are out of the question. Uh, you need flint to uh, you need flint to make an axe. Ironically, I could have sworn, yeah, there's boulders over there. So, we're just going to run on this. Oh, we! Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Now... The amateur player would go make that right into an axe. And I'm kind of feeling like I should pause. No, because the amateur player wouldn't do that because the professional would pick up the rock and make a pickaxe. And he would then pre-make a torch for nighttime. Because we're going to use the road. And this is my logic. We're going to use the road. And we're gonna hijack it back to these two rocks, and we're gonna pick up stone, netting more than we need to, or we can just pick up this piece of flint here, and not get ourselves killed on day one. Chopped on a tree. God, don't you just love how games do that for you? You make a great plan, and the game's like, nah, how about you don't do that? It's a signing from the. It's a sign from the Kelly Entertainment industry. Don't do stupid shit. down trees here and I'm not gonna make a fire right now the garland um, it's gonna net pretty well here uh, in dusk time you should probably hit around 200 you should stay at max sanity uh, but when night begins to fall the garland um, its effects are not as powerful you'll definitely you'll always net you'll always you always net and when I say net no matter if you eat food, have a garland on or whatever, you always lose sanity at night time. I'm just doing some uh, last minute resource gathering here. And I'm going to chop this wood. And I have a feeling here, because I can't see the timer due to this thing here. I don't even know if you guys can see that either. But there's something there that's blocking me from seeing that. I'm not going to lie. This is a bit rough around the edges. And we're just going to run with this. Uh, you'll see the next mod here. It is a geolocator. I use this just to tight things in. Tight things in. Yeah. Uh, no, fit things in uh, efficiently. I'm going to camp in between two trees here. This probably isn't a good um, strategy. Because there's probably going to be tree guards coming out here. But yeah. As you can see, we're losing sanity. Uh, you'll always net you always lose sanity at night it's just it's just it's just something and don't starve you know don't starve more like don't go crazy and shoot yourself but that that doesn't sell video games you're gonna add fuel pine cones are a good source of fuel uh we're gonna go over hunger mechanics i'm at 84 hunger here one berry shoots me up to 93 if we cook a berry Go 93, 92, 104. Uh, cooked food will always net higher than non cooked food. But on the contrary, it spoils faster too. And if you say have raw berries and roasted berries, and they're not going to be the same, I'm going to cap this up at 150. And I'm basically going to leave it like this. We have poop, carrot, we have the ring thing. And we have birch nuts. Birch nuts are actually pretty nutritious, actually. Light source, survival needs, the pretty parasol. Eh, 
Not really interested in that. Unless it rains. Unless it rains, then, then we'll talk here. Fighting. We can make a grass suit, but that requires a bit of that. And it's the next day we don't starve. So, what is our plan today? Like any plan, let's go find gold. Uh, always make sure before you leave, you just have enough. Uh, you always have enough wood and supplies to make a fire pit. Or just make a quick fire. That is just your beginner beginner nerd guide to Don't Starve. Just always make sure you're prepared. We're going to head down south here. We're going to head down south. Not like South in America. Where Confederate flags still stand. Which, you know, you're, you're entitled to your own opinion. I don't care. And it's a dead end. Just like the South was when they lost the war. That's what you get trying to secede from the Union, baby. God, in the first nine minutes, I've probably gotten more political than... Alright, we... I'll shut up about the politics. We're in the swamp biome. This is marble. There's a pickaxe. And if I wouldn't guess correctly... We'll come back to the marble here because it's a satchel. This is Maxwell. This is Wilson. This dude's an asshole. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, that's a tentacle. That's our first enemy of the game. We're gonna see. Um, there was a tentacle up there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump through the wormhole. Watch. So my sanity was at, let's say, 200. 178. This jumped me all the way over here. <gasps> yes! Boys, ladies and gentlemen, if you've never played this game before, I introduce you to probably my favorite person and the person why I play this game. Chester! Oh, little Chester. He's like your little walking dog. Let's go, boy. Boing, 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 boing. Wow, there's a lot of frogs. These things are going to attack me. Now I'm going to follow the brick road here. Tumbleweed. Or tumbleweed. I didn't expect this much stuff to happen already. Okay, we're in the desert. Oh, that's how far the brick road goes? Well, this is definitely nowhere to go to dirt. And there's also going to be hounds out here. So what I will actually do... These give you s nothing but stone. And I'm starting to actually... Why is there carpet here? Carpet would suggest that there's clockwork, but I don't see clockwork. More tumbleweeds. Uh, Chester is basically a portable chest, since his name, hence, hence the name Chester. Uh, I wow, this is tumbleweeds getting stuck in the side of the map quite a bit. So I'm just gonna use this time to top up on grass and sticks and just kind of plant this out. So as you can see, the gu and it started raining. Chester, let's go put the food away. And darn, are we glad we made this thing? It's a pretty fair cell. Um, okay, I don't know if you can hear that rumbling, but I'm pretty sure that's hounds. I don't like this start. I want to go home. I've tried recording this a lot already for you guys, and I've had great starts. Like, I got gold right away. Oh, that's the umbrella, rain hitting the umbrella. Duh. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I don't like this start. A lot of probability. But there's this whole t uh, biome over here. So yeah. Let's just keep running through it until we find stone. Uh, we're looking for gold, because when you get gold, you can make a science machine. So let's go find some gold. Bees. Uh, this is not a community me meme. Bees will end your pathetic life. Uh, I got freaking beefalo hair from a tumbleweed. That's pretty cool. Ah! Uh, ah! What the fudge? What was that? Where's my axe? I think that's an enemy. First enemy in the game, guys. <laughs> Mosquito stack. Let's eat that. Okay. 
We killed our first thing. Yippee. And this knight begins to fall on us. Wow, a lot of miscellaneous loot. Okay. This seems like a walking hell, and I have no clue where I'm going here. I'm about 13 minutes in. I think what my best bet is to do. And I'm thinking about this. How about we don't go for the gold? I hear clockwork. And my best senses are telling me don't mess with the clockwork. But there's this other part of me that's like, you gotta make your videos interesting, Jordan. Go get the clockwork. I really don't want to get the clockwork. I'm just scanning around here. So I'm guessing these things are just going to connect here to one big... Whatever you want to call it. I can't carry more stuff. Let's eat. Get back here. Damn it. Let's go chart over here, and this is what I'm thinking about this. Um, I don't think we're going to find gold, but what I won't be complaining about is if we can set up a, because these, this is really, this is where you want to be. The beefalo, the, the beefalo are, I don't even remember, I think they're like right here. I would much rather want to be in a very bentiful area like this, because we not only have frogs over here, we have grasslands over here, we have plenty of sticks and twigs down there. Yeah, see, we're missing a lot of sticks just for the, the fire pit. So we're gonna dump the campfire here. And we'll go find. We're gonna go. We're gonna go get rocks tomorrow. And when you can't uh, pick anything up, put it in Chester. Chester has health, 450 out of 450, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't die. Let's drop the eye bone here, and we'll wait this night out. I just have a random torch there. Let's eat the roasted berries. And these carrots. And there we go. This is probably the fastest I've ever found Chester, to be honest. Yeah, so yes, this is this is Don't Starve. The game where you plan ahead so much that you end up dying, pretty much. I don't know. Just taking this in one day at a time. Videos will be 20 minutes long because not only it's the YouTube upload rate, but it's also just uh, 20 minutes is usually two days. Um, when we get into the winter section, I'm going to do a lot of editing on the videos because winter, surprisingly or not, uh, daylight goes down to maybe 10% of the day and it's usually night for a lot of it. And I don't know exactly know what um, season I'm in, but I'm going to want to have... There's going to be a couple things I want to start getting crafted here. Each season is 15 days or we're two days in. And we really want to find gold. So I think it's it's your first 15 days are really a race against the clock. And I think this race, ooh, wait, it dumped me over here. Where does this take me? That might take me to stone. And I'm going to hope it takes me to stone. I have plenty of grass for a grass suit. I'm just going to make this one because a little bit of hit points is better than no hit points. What to do, what to do. Because I'm really, I'm thinking, just, you know. Alright, we're going to take the risk here and we're going to teleport. We're going to take that other uh, wormhole and we're going to teleport. Our insanity is at 92. So, I might as well just pick a go oh, saving. Might as well. See, look at it. You get big bunches of XP for that. Let's pick up two more carrots. Let's go through this one. Right now. Okay, this has teleported me all the fucking way over here to exactly the place where I want to be. Where the gold is. 
Okay, this is actually kind of interesting. Because it's throwing me over where a bunch of rocks are. And I think... I think I can use this wormhole to just teleport back and forth periodically. And good thing we picked up that other, um... Uh-oh. Um, let's put the manure in Chester. There you go. I'm kind of glad it kind of dumped me over here because this is where a lot of gold is. And then we'll take it back. Oh, we're pushing 18 minutes. And I'll let this episode be a bit a little bit longer. Just so I can show you guys how to really do things in this game. But man, do we have a lot of ex to explore. I we this is just how big the map is. And this is on this is just regular setting. These maps can get humongous. There's a meme in there somewhere, but I don't know. They call me humongous. And we're going to gather up as much gold as we can here. I'm going to leave these other twos, because I don't know if this is an actual thing in this game, but I'm pretty sure gold veins can increase as days go on. So we're just going to leave it here. The suspicious dirt pile. The koala bear. I don't know. It's, a, it's half koala, half bear, because Kelly doesn't... Kelly does things their own way here, so I'm gonna zoom in here. Uh, zoom in on your thing like this. Uh, we're actually gonna just mine rocks here. Don't quote me on this, but I think I have bigger stacks on too, and I'm gonna remove a couple of these mods too, uh, just because they make the game a little bit unfair. And this was doing because I was just doing some modding. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have bigger stacks on. But even if your mod wasn't uh, featured in this episode, I'll still put you in the description, but once I uninstall it, adios, amigo. Alright, we're pushing 20 minutes here. And I think because this is such a great location, I th I'm going to put my base right here. But we're going to call this a video here, guys. So anyway, thank you for tuning in. This is Dinner Fried Dinner Steak here, and this is me playing as Wilson. This is episode 1, season 1 of Reign of Giants. Thank you, everyone, and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.